less than lesson 7.2. We can compare two numbers to find which is less. We can use groups of 10, counters, or draw pictures to help us compare. We can also use their place value. So which is less? 27 or 37? First, we compare the numbers in the tens place. This has a 2, this has a 3. The number with less tens is the lesser number. 27 is less than 37. It only has two tens. This one has three tens. Which is less, 42 or 43? If the tens are the same, we compare the numbers in the ones place. They both have a four in the tens place, so we compare the ones place. This only has two ones, this one has three ones. Which one is less? Two is less than three, so 42 is less than 43. To find the number that is less, compare the numbers in the tens place first. We have 32 and 41. We look at the numbers in the tens place. 32 has three tens. 41 has four tens. Three tens is less than four tens. So 32 is less than th 41. And here's the symbol for less than. This is the symbol for is less than. It's the is less than sign. The sign is open facing the larger number. See? It's open facing the bigger number. And the point, this little tip right here, is facing the smaller number, the lesser number. If the tens are the same, we compare the ones. We have 24 and 26. This one has four ones. This one has six ones. They both have two tens. Four ones are less than six ones, so 24 is less than 26. Four is smaller than six. We write 24 is less than 26. And if you look at the less than sign, it kind of looks like a tilted L. If I tilt my camera, doesn't that look like an L? So you can think L for l less. See? That way you can tell it from the greater than sign. Here we have a chart like we did in the last video. It says circle the lesser number. We have to choose is this one or this one the lesser number. Then we have to answer and circle if the tens or ones helped us. Then we need to fill in the blanks to make it true. Which one is lesser, 19 or 23? We look at the tens place first. 19 has one ten, 23 has two tens. Two is bigger, isn't it? So the one is lesser. So 19 is less than 23. And did the tens or one, ones help us decide? We used the tens place. This only has one ten. So the tens place is the one that helped us. Now we need to write the numbers. 19 is less than 23. 19 is less than 23. And we can write it using the symbol. 19 is less than 23. The tip of the sign is facing the smaller number, and the big open part is facing the larger number. Let's try this one. Which one's less, 35 or 38? We look at the tens place. They both have a 3, so we look at the ones place. This has 5 ones. This has 8 ones. Do you know which one's less? Five is smaller than eight, isn't it? So this one is less. And did the tens place or the ones place help us? 
Well, it had the same tens, so we had to use the ones. Now we need to write and fill in the blanks. 35 is less than 38. 35 is less than 38. We can write it using the symbol, the sign. 35 is less than 38. Let's try this one. We have 76 and 87. Which one's less? We look at the tens place. This has seven tens. This has eight tens. Seven is smaller than eight, so this one's less. And did the tens place or the ones place helped us? help us? We use the tens place. Seven is smaller than eight. Now we need to write the numbers 76 is less than 87. 76 is less than 87. And we can write it using the symbol 76 is less than 87. The little tip is facing the smaller number and the big open side is facing the larger number. A number that comes before another number is less. The number that comes before 10 is 9. 9 is less than 10. A number that comes after another number is greater. What comes after 10? 11. So 11 is greater than 10. We can write a number to solve. Tala has 28 cookies. Emma has fewer cookies than Tala. How many cookies might Emma have? So we just need to find a number of cookies that Emma has that would make this true, that Emma has fewer. Well, Tala has 28, so really any number that's smaller than 28 would make this true. We can write any number that's smaller than 28. 27 is smaller than 28. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. We could go all the way down to one cookie because that would be less than 28 and that would make it true. There are less than 57 bees in the hive. How many bees can be in the hive? Now, because it says can be in the hive, that means any number that's less than 57 would make this true. The first number that would be less than 57 would be 56. That's less than 57. And we could use 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49. We could go all the way down because all those numbers are less than 57. We could even say there's 35, couldn't we? Or 12. Those are all less than 57. Any of those numbers would make it true. Write the number that comes before, between, or after. What number comes before 59? We have an unknown number and then 59 and then 60. So what number when we're counting comes before 59? It would be one less, wouldn't it? It would be one less than 59. So we could take one away from the ones place and make that an eight and we'd have 58. That means 58 is less than 59 because it comes before it when we're counting. And 58 is also less than 60 because it comes before 60. See, it doesn't have to come right before it as long as it comes in front of it, see? How about this one? We have 71 Unknown number, 73. Do you know what number fits in here when we're counting? 
They're going up by one. We have a one. That should be a two, shouldn't it? So that should be 72. Then 73. So that means 72 is less than 73 because it comes in front of it. We have a less than sign. And because 72 comes after 71, 72 is greater than 71. We learned that in the last video, didn't we, about greater than. It comes after 71, so it's greater than 71. It comes before 73, so it's less than 73. How about this one? 109, we have a missing number, and 111. What goes in between 109 and 111? What goes in between 9 and 11? If you said 110, you're right. That means 110 is less than 111 because it comes before it. So it's less than 111. It comes after 109, so it's greater than 109. Whoops. Here we go. It comes after 109, so it's greater. It comes before 111, so it's less. How about this one? We have some number, then 100, then 101. Do you remember from the other videos what number comes before 100? If you said 99, you're right. Ninety nine, one hundred, one hundred one. When we count, that means ninety nine is less than one hundred because it comes before it. And ninety nine is also less than one hundred one because it comes before one hundred one. Not in order, but it still is before it. It's still in front of it, see? So it's less than. Let's try this one. 118, 119, what number comes here? If you said 120 comes after 119, you're right. 118, 119, 120. That means 120 is greater than 118 because it comes after it. And 120 is greater than 119 because it comes after it. Our next lesson is use symbols to compare. We're going to use more less than and greater than signs and even an equal to sign. That'll be lesson 7.3. You can get a bowl or a box and put numbers in it, one and two digit numbers, and even up to 120. And you can put them all in the bowl or the box and pick them out and see if you can tell which numbers are less than or greater than another number that you pick. And then you can compare two numbers you pick out of the bowl or the box. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm really proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.